Well, here we are again. You're watching Legacy of Leaders. I'm your host, Jamar Suber. And as you know, I talk to amazing entrepreneurs who inspire us to go higher. And today, I'm with the amazing Dr. Clarinda Sanders with the Sanders Network. Doctor, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Jamar. It's my pleasure to be here today. Absolutely. Doctor, tell us about the Sanders Network. The Sanders Network, we are a dynamic consulting firm and we focus on workforce and career development in all aspects of it. Everything from resume writing, interviewing skill techniques to, you know, advancing yourself in your career, moving up the leadership, mm -hmm. corporate ladder, anything, any career aspirations that you have, we focus on those areas. Wow. Mm -hmm. So when I think about your business and what you do, mm -hmm. I think about legacy. Mm -hmm. How important is attaching legacy to what we're doing as it relates to the Sanders Network? Legacy is extremely important because as we know, it's not about this generation in many cases, it's about our next generation of leaders. Mm -hmm. So legacy is very important as far as career and workforce development is concerned as well. So we should you know, focus not just on achieving our dreams and our goals, but leaving a legacy for those that are coming behind us in any way that we can. Making a difference mm -hmm. is extremely important nowadays because if we want our next generation to be better, then we have to include them in our strategic um, goal setting plans. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. with the services you provide, mm -hmm. who's your audience? Who utilizes the services? Thank you for that question because the Sanders Network is a very diverse, we have a diverse clientele, mm -hmm. I'll say it like that. We work with everyone from professionals such as you and myself, and we also work with other unconventional clients or, or people that um, need help um, in other ways. So we work with people that are transitioning back into society. That's one of the uh, things that we, um, we really, really pride ourselves on. But we also work with professionals that are established and they're looking to advance their career in some ways. Mm -hmm. We work with disabled veterans we work with military transition people that are coming out of the military and they're looking for an opportunity to transition those great skills that they earned while they were serving the country into um, transferable skills into our current job market. Wow, doctor, I love the services you provide. Talk to yeah. me about the passion behind it. What motivates you to, to provide these types of services? I'm extremely passionate about the work that I do. I've been in the community performing this type of work for 20 years now. I absolutely love it. I've been in the nonprofit arena for 20 years and I've also worked in the corporate arena. And being in this business, I've seen so much transformation. It's awesome to see the transformation that I see people make when they come into um, involvement of understanding who they are, mm -hmm. the skills that they have and their worth and just rebuilding their lives, reclaiming their lives. Yeah. And that is what drives me, seeing the transformation, mm -hmm. seeing someone coming in and they don't have anything that they need, like when I'm working with um, returning citizens and to see them come back six months later or a year later and give their success story and come back and give back to the community mm -hmm. and hire some of the people that are looking for work. And to see professionals that have aspired to do something else now, you know, sometimes you get to a point in your life where you've done something for 10 or 15 years and 20 years and you're burnt out. Mm -hmm. You wanna do something different. And they, um, they pursue those goals of making a difference and, and doing what they like to do and passion and that's, that's what motivates me, yeah. seeing their success stories. That's amazing. So a little mm -hmm. birdie told me that you're an author <laughs> as well. Yes, yes. So um, I'm in the process of publishing my second book, okay. but I've appeared in some of our local magazines that highlights my 20 years of working in, you know, in career development, workforce development, working to help people empower themselves. And I've also, my recent um, study, research study that, that I just completed, was on effective business survival studies among African-American women 
um, in there when after a natural disaster. Wow. So that's important because, you know, in the state of Florida, we are subjected to hurricanes and we just experienced COVID. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people lost their businesses yeah. because we didn't know those, uh, the knowledge was there, but maybe everyone didn't know what are those, some of those things that you can put in place to continue business continuity. Mm -hmm. And so that study focused on that. What are some of those strategies that we can put in place now that will help us be sustainable during a natural disaster. And yeah. I really enjoyed that study. I spent about four years on that study. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, Doctor, we'll definitely have to continue this show. I really Thank appreciate you coming out. Thank you, it's been my pleasure to Absolutely. be here today. Absolutely, okay. so you've heard it right here. This is Legacy of Leaders. I'm your host, Jamar Suber. To learn more about Dr. Sanders and the Sanders Network, please check us out at thedailynewsnetwork.com.